soon as the clock struck 10, I was on it. No, I don't want seats. No, I definitely don't want lawn. Not seats. Yes, I just got pit tickets, two pit tickets, to uh, BuzzFest 22. What is BuzzFest? It's an awesome concert that they put on twice a year at the Cynthia Woods Mitchell Pavilion. And if you're going to go, don't bother with the lawn. It's, it's just a snooze. You have to have pit tickets. You have to be up front. You have to be there and feel the sweat of the singers on your face. <laughs> That's the only way to experience the show. And I just got two tickets. I scored. So who's going to be playing this concert? Well, three of my favorite bands, which is why I was really excited. It's typically 20 bands that play. So three of them were being uh, Papa Roach, awesome, awesome show, Seether, and Stained. And so I was, I was excited, ready to go. The concert was supposed to be October 4th, 2008. September 13th comes around. Hurricane Ike just ripped the roof off of the pavilion. All shows have been canceled for the rest of the year. I was really upset, other than the fact that, yes, a hurricane just blew through Houston and half the city was destroyed, but the fact that my good luck, my strategy of getting these pit tickets was totally washed down the drain, and I was upset. <laughs> but wait a minute. I just got an email from Ford Park Center in Beaumont announcing that there's been an impromptu show for three bands playing in November, those three bands being Papa Roach, Stained, and Cedar. And I just got invited for the pre-sale. So yes, I acquired two tickets, general admission, to Ford Center. Now, if you've ever been to Ford Center, which is in Beaumont, about one hour and a half drive, it's worth the drive because it's such a tiny venue, it's literally half the size of a roller rink. So if you get GAs, you're almost certain to get to the front. And so I, I grabbed my friend Rachel, we head out to Beaumont, it's Friday, November uh, 15th, I believe. We get there, we stand in line, we, we go through the menu. As I said, super tiny. We swish our way through the front, trading the very last spot. We traded a stick of gum for the guy in front of us to let us get to the rail. <laughs> My friend next to me was like, that's it? A stick of gum? That's all it, I'm like, that's all it takes. Got to be nice and ask to get in the front. <laughs> so we're there on the rail. We're right there in front of the bass speaker. Papa Roach comes on, totally rocks the stage. We're all singing and dancing and having a good time. Seether comes on, and in rare, usual form, the guys probably had a little bit too much to drink for this particular show because they were good, you could tell. So then Aaron Lewis comes on, which is the lead singer of uh, Stain. And you know, he does one hit after another, the crowd's going, we're really enjoying ourselves. And I could feel the bass from the bass drum with every thud that they make. It was just so electrifying and you could feel the wattage from the speakers. And the very last song, Aaron Lewis comes over and he literally is standing right above us. And Rachel and I are standing there looking straight up as he's singing the last few of the lyrics to this song. And so we're excited and then it's over. And we're walking out and, I mean, literally, our skin, our hair, our, I mean, we could just feel the wattage from the show. It was that intense and electrifying. <laughs> and so we drive back to Houston and, you know, I was feeling a little sick and I thought, maybe I had too much beer at the show. I don't, well, I don't feel good. Well, then the next couple of days go by. We go to New Orleans for Thanksgiving and the whole time I'm there and I'm like, God, I just, I haven't been feeling good. I, I feel kind of sick and I don't know what's going on with me. And um, so then I began to get worried because um, brain aneurysms actually run in my family. And so that's something that for the women in my family, we have to pretty much get checked on a, on a regular basis because it's dangerous. And so then I started to, you know, worry that you know, maybe something's going on here and I need to get checked out because I can't stand up without wanting to throw up or fall down. <laughs> and so I go to the doctor and she does all these tests and, and I'm nervous and, and she says, well, you have altitude sickness. Have you been skydiving or deep sea diving or um, any mountain climbing? And I was like, what? <laughs> no, I haven't done any of those things. And then she's like, well, it would have come on pretty sudden, whatever it is that you did. And then it hit me, the bass speaker. I had rocked out so hard. 
at this concert <laughs> that the bass speaker from the show had given me altitude sickness. <laughs> and I so and I and I realized that as soon as she said it would have come on suddenly, I thought, oh, I know what it is, because I've been sick ever since that show. So theirs just goes to show you that yes, you literally can rock your socks off and have a good time, and you can take it a little too far because you can in fact get altitude sickness from jamming out in the pit of a concert, but it's always worth the while, so do it if you have the opportunity. <laughs>